Hey everybody, Shadow Phoenix here. Welcome back to 30 Minutes or Less. Today I am playing a game called Cult Express. What is Cult Express? Uh, well, uh, basically it is a board game that's been turned into a video game version. Uh, it's available on Android and Apple and also on Steam. Steam is the version that we are playing today. Uh, so the idea is to place your hold up, adapt your scheme, get rich, and get out. Sounds kind of fun. Um, it is apparently a famous train robbery board game. Uh, as if there's a, are there a bunch of train robbery board games for this one to be the famous one? I, I don't know. Uh, I have a friend though that probably already actually has this game. Um, so the idea is to plot your scheme step by step, dive in the action to loot the wagons. Uh, you are not the only most wanted man with the intention of becoming rich today. You might have to rethink your strategy. Uh, so apparently you can play solo with friends, family, and worldwide in multiplayer. So, I don't know too much about this. I started the game a minute ago and it brought up a tutorial and then I had to fix my audio and exit out. So the tutorial is nowhere to be found. Uh, oh, there it is. Okay, so let's check out the tutorial. Because I honestly, I have no idea how to play this game. So let's, let's check it out. The goal. To win, you must collect more loot than other bandits. The game ends after five rounds. Each round is made up of two phases. Scheming. Plan your moves by playing cards. Steal it. Carry out the predetermined moves. For this tutorial, you'll be playing Tuko, the character with the red shirt. This guy. You start in the last car. These are your cards. You get six cards from your deck. Each card represents a specific action that you program. Okay, so, all right. Round one, scheming. Card is played normally. Each round is a series of turns. Each turn is represented by a card icon. We start by playing a round with only one turn. The goal of the game is to get the most loot. Play, uh, 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 drag it from the uh, from your hand to the center of the screen. We'll play this one. Round one, stealing. With the scheme and phase complete, we now carry out the actions that have been previously programmed. The pile is flipped over and the cards are drawn one at a time, following the same order they were played. You played a robbery card. Pick up the loot by clicking the corresponding action icon. Gems are worth $500. Purses are worth between $250 and $500. The strong box and the locomotive is worth $1,000. Pick up the gem. Django played a move card. Inside a car, you can only move one car in either direction. On a roof, you can move up to three cars in either direction. Doc played a fire card. This card allows bandits to shoot each other in an adjacent car or anywhere on the roof. The characters block line of sight. Doc fires his gun and spins one of his six bullets. Hey! Doc's bullet card is added to your deck. Oh, cause it was what? Put into me? <laughs> he did shoot me. Uh, for round two, we will play two turns. Each round, the next bandit in line becomes the first player. A marker is shown on the porch of the first player in the round. In this case, Django. I'm confused already. Uh, let's see. Bad luck. You drew Doc's bullet card from last round. This is a dead card. Play a punch card. A fire card. Okay. Doc played a floor change card. This card makes the character change floors, in this case from inside the roof. Uh, Django played a Marshall card. Marshall moves one card in either direction and never goes on the roof. You played a fire card. Choose your target. Your target will receive a bullet card from you.
Round three. A new strongbox appears in a car where the marshal is. Marshal is next to Fawn. Play a marshal card. Okay. You played a marshal card. If you don't like your action options, you can always draw three more cards. This counts as an action. Click the cards button to draw three cards. Play a fire card. At the end of the game, if you are the bandit and shot the most bullets, you get the gunslinger bonus of a thousand. <clears throat> the strong box appears in the car. Okay. When a marshal shares a car with a bandit, that bandit receives a neutral bullet card and is forced to flee on the roof. Your turn to play. Move the marshal towards Django. Guess we're going up. You don't take any action because you drew three cards on this turn in the scheme and phase. Turn to play. Fire at Django. This is the end of round event. The marshal drops a new strong box. Round four has special turns. Tunnel, speeding up, and switching. We'll explain them as they come up and play. Okay, because I have no idea still what I'm doing. Let's start by moving away from here. turn takes place in a tunnel. During this turn, all players play their actions face down. This complicates the strategy. Oh, because you can't see what other people are doing because it's dark in the tunnel. Play a fire card. Notice the card is played face down. This is speeding up turn. During this turn, all players play two actions in a row. Play a floor change card followed by a punch change. Okay. This is switching turn. In this turn, the playing order is reversed. Play a robbery card. <clears throat> Let's go on the roof over Dango. We have a nice surprise for him. Tuco can shoot through roofs. This is a special ability as indicated by the small icon next to the action button. All characters have a special ability. Climb down. Ah, okay. As you saw with Django punching the air and Doc climbing on the marshal, planning is difficult and can lead to chaotic, undesirable, but still fun situations. Pick up the strong box. That's the thousand dollars if you can hold on to it to the end of the game. Round five is the last round of the game. The tutorial is done. You can exit the main menu or finish the game on your own so you can own your skills.
uh, hostage taken to the conductor. Each bandit who is either in the locomotive or on its roof receives a $250 ransom. Okay, so we played the Marshall card. So I probably need to go up. Okay, and then... I don't really have anything else. Um... Let's see, and everything is placed face down now, so... I want to drop three cards. See if I can figure this out. Ah. Damn it. Oh, he's going to put me down in there with them. Okay, well, that was a bad idea. Okay, why didn't that work? Oh, you got my ransom box, you bastard. Okay. Okay, did I win? I don't know. Yeah, I did. Hey, I did. I won. Okay. Alright, so let's go back to our main menu and let's actually try out a... Great Analyze Mode again to play online and gain access to some awesome... Okay, well, we don't want to do that, so later. Uh, let's do Story Mode. Let's see if we can figure out how to get the hang of this. Uh, seems a perfect opportunity to grab some loot. Just gotta make sure I don't spend too much time next to those flames. Uh, not on my watch. I'll catch you over did this, says the marshal. Lost loot a thousand dollars for the end of round two without receiving neutral bullets from flames. Okay. So, uh, what? Okay. What is this card? Uh, all right, let's go up. And then we'll move again, I guess. Sure, why not? We'll try it out.
I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so here's where all the actions take place. First up, your turn to play. Wait, I go under the car? Maybe that's his special ability. I'm just running back and forth on the roofs, I guess. Okay. Your turn to play. Okay, so she's getting hit by fire. Round two, scheming. New strong box appears in a car where Marshall is. Okay. So he played move. My turn now. Uh, I don't want to go down. Do I have a fire card? Nope, I do not. Let's do this. Drop three extra cards. Oh, look at that. Perfect. See how this plays out. She's getting burned alive. Oh, he puts out flames, I guess. Okay. Failed to lose a thousand dollars by the end of round two. Aww. Okay, well, let's restart. Let's try again. Play one more game. Ghost is reading quietly at the bar. Suddenly a commotion ahead moves him from his peaceful state of mind. You smell something? It smells like smoke. Fire. Uh, fire. Mm, this seems like a perfect opportunity to grab some loot. I just gotta make sure I don't spend too much time next to those flames. Because he had the mustache. It just made me think that he sounded that way. Uh, not on my watch. I'll catch whoever did this. He, I don't know. He just would seem like a justified character, and that seems like a justified Western voice to me. Loot a thousand dollars before the end of round two without receiving neutral bullets from flames. Round one. All right. Got a fire on there. Okay, what do we got? Um, let's rob. <clears throat> I think that means we can pick that up right there. Uh, and then we can. Play the Marshall card. Shoot somebody. Okay, and then we will shoot somebody again. And then Hey, we got cash. All right. 
I'm starting to understand how to play it, though it is quite complicated, in my opinion. Why can't I shoot him? Strong boxing. Alright, so here's what we got. We got Heat your cards. She's gonna move. I'm gonna go up. Two three cards. I'm going to then move. And then Shoot somebody, I guess. I'll shoot somebody else, I guess. Okay, so here we have one card, two cards. Under the train, stealing your shiznit. All right, uh, let's see what he. So everybody's just kind of going back and forth here. It's really doing anything. Oh look, there's nothing there. What well, I do declare. Ghost gets away with the money. The smell of smoke lingers, but he has enough in his pockets to buy himself fresh air to breathe. Oh, sweet. I won. How about that? Okay, so Ghost can apparently go underneath the train, which is kind of cool. All right, so yeah, this game right now is on sale, I think, or currently reduced price. It's only $6.99. Uh, if this game has interested, interested, I can't speak today. If this game has got your attention, <laughs> uh, definitely check it out um, for only $6.99. It's, I guess it's not too bad. It seems like maybe a game if uh, you want to grab it on mobile. Uh, you know, not something you would necessarily need to have on PC, but you know, maybe a mobile game would kind of be kind of fun for this. Uh, all in all, it's not too bad. I can see it be kind of fun. I think personally, I would much rather play the board game though with friends. That's just my opinion. So thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode of 30 Minutes or Less. That has been 30 Minutes or Less of Gameplay of Cult Express. Check it out on Steam or Android or Apple. See you later, guys. Until the next video, I'm out of here. Hey everyone, if you'd like to help support me and my channel, I have a Patreon page where you can do just that. You can pledge anything from a dollar or more. Anyone who pledges $15 or more gets a unique, specially designed roller coaster from Planet Coaster made just for them. My little way of saying thanks. You can also just send donations as well if you don't want to join Patreon. And you can find those links in the video description below. Every tiny red cent I make from these means the world to me and is extremely helpful. If you're interested in my PC setup that I work with and play on that you see here, every piece of the system is described below with links to Amazon if you want to purchase them or anything else. Thanks for tuning in to my videos and my channel. If you aren't already a subscriber, click that on the screen below. And you can also check out a few of my other videos on the screen here as well. You can keep up to date on what's going on in my own little world via Twitter or watch me stream live on Twitch as well. Links are in the video description below. So wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night.